Good morning. I'm going to read to you Jeremiah chapter 7, verses 3 through 7, which says, This is what the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of Israel, says. Even now, if you quit your evil ways, I will let you stay in your own land. But don't be fooled by those who promise you safe, safety simply because the Lord's temple is here. They chant, the Lord's temple is here. The Lord's temple is here. But I will only be merciful if you stop your evil thoughts and deeds and start treating each other with justice. Only if you stop exploiting foreigners, orphans, and widows. Only if you stop your murdering. And only if you stop harming yourselves by worshiping idols. Then I will let you stay in this land that I gave to your ancestors to keep forever. Now, these words from Je uh, Jeremiah the prophet... They were for um, Israel, well, I mean, technically Judah and Jerusalem, right before they were placed in Babylonian captivity by the Lord. <clears throat> so the northern section of Israel had already been taken into captivity, and the last remnant, the last part, was in Judah and Jerusalem, and this was right before they were taken into Babylonian captivity. And he had a long list of infractions committed by his chosen people evil thoughts and deeds, injustice, exploitation of foreigners, orphans, widows, murder, idol worship. And even with all of that, even with everything that was going on, the Lord said, even now, if you quit your evil ways, I will let you stay in your own land. You know, reading this list of indictments against Israel forces me to stop and think, what would God's list be for America? I think God would say something like, I'll be merciful if you stop slandering each other. If your leaders stop telling lies. If you stop killing unborn children. If you stop with your heterosexual sin, adultery, fornication, pornography, lust. If you stop with your homosexual sin, lesbianism, gayness, bisexuality, queerness. If you stop with your transgenderism, allowing five-year-olds to undergo gender conversion therapy and surgery your exploitation of foreigners, orphans, and widows, worshiping false gods. You know, when I stop to consider what God might have against us as a nation, I cringe to think of it. Israel's, a list, Israel's list appears far shorter than ours, and they were overrun by Babylon because of it. I wonder how the Lord feels about America. Well, no, I don't. I think I know how he feels about America. Pray with me. Lord, as a nation, I know that we need to repent. While there are some among us who do not do these things individually, as a nation, we have done them. Not only have we done them, we've promoted them. We have allowed those who would trumpet the virtue of these things to take reins of leadership and power push an agenda that is wholly ungodly. Lord, forgive us. And I pray that we would turn back to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, have a good day. See you again tomorrow.